How many people in this audience actually believe in the idea that the way you think has some effect on your life? So how many people here actually woke up this morning and consciously created a future? You know, the biggest reason why people don't do it is because you don't really believe it's true. You see, if you knew on a gut level that it was absolutely true, would you ever miss a day? Come on. And would you ever let any thought slip by your awareness that you didn't want to experience? So if you believe this then, then does your environment control your thinking or does your thinking control your environment? So if you wake up in the morning and you get out of bed on the same exact side as you did the day before, you shut the alarm clock off with the same finger, you slip into your favorite slippers, you shuffle into the bathroom and you use the toilet like you always do, then you get into the shower and you wash yourself in the same routine way, then you groom yourself to look like everybody expects you to look, and you go downstairs and you drink coffee out of your favorite mug. Then you drive to work the same way as you did the day before. You see the same people that push the same emotional buttons. You do the exact thing that you know how to do and you memorize and can do so well that you're an expert at. Then you hurry up and rush home so you can hurry up and check your emails. So you could hurry up and go to bed so you can hurry up and do it all over again. Now, here's my question. Did your brain change at all that day? We could say that you were thinking the same thoughts, performing the same actions, that create the same experiences, that produce the same emotions, but secretly expecting something to change in your life. As you see the same people and go to the same places and do the same things at the same time, it's the external environment that's turning on different circuits in your brain, causing you to think equal to everything that you know. And as long as you think equal to everything that's familiar or known to you, what do you keep creating more of? Same. Same life. Now, the quantum law is still applying to you. You're just thinking equal to everything that you know, and you keep creating more of the same. To change, to truly change, is to think greater than your environment. And every great person in history knew this, whether it was William Wallace or Mahatma Gandhi or Martin Luther King or Queen Elizabeth I, or Joan of Arc, they all had a vision. They all had an idea. Couldn't see it, couldn't smell it, couldn't taste it, couldn't feel it. But it was alive in their mind. It was so alive in their mind that they began to live as if that reality was actually happening now. So can you believe in a future that you can't see or experience with your senses yet? But you've thought about enough times in your mind that your brain is literally changed to look like the event has already happened? Neuroscience says it's absolutely possible. 95% of who you are by the time you're 35 years old is a set of memorized behaviors, set of emotional reactions, beliefs, perceptions, attitudes that run just like a computer program. So 5% of your conscious mind begins to work against 95% of what you've memorized. So the person wants to think positively, but they're feeling negatively. They want to create their dream board, you know, and put up their future life, but they feel unworthy. That's mind and body in opposition. We have to recondition the body to a new mind. To change your mind, then, is to make the brain work in new sequences and new patterns and new combinations, to begin to make the brain work differently. And the one ingredient that allows us to do that is knowledge or information. Because every time you learn something new, you make a new connection in your brain. That's what learning is. Learning is forging new connections. Remembering is maintaining or sustaining those connections. Write down the choices you have to stop making. Mm -hmm. Look at the things you have to stop doing. Do you complain? Do you make excuses? Do you blame other people? Mm -hmm. What do you do? List those things and be really honest with yourself. What experiences do you have to stay away from, from certain people at certain times mm -hmm. of place? Stay away from them mm -hmm. so that you are not in the environment that mm -hmm. triggers it.